Welcome to July's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is reverse bits. Reverse bits of a given 32 bits unsigned integer. We're given an integer and we want to return the reversed bit representation and return that integer that's represented by that reversed bit representation. So the way that I know how you're supposed to convert an integer into a string bit representation is to use the format method and you can do that by using this and we just enter in the integer now I'm gonna convert this into a list because string, manip string manipulation is expensive in Python and this is gonna be a list of all the bits in string format now all we need to do is reverse this list and now we can use the string join method to recast this list as a string and return the int representation of that. Make sure to add a 2 here. Unfortunately this isn't going to work and I'll show you why. What happens is we, when we cast our given integer into um, a string format we get rid of the leading zeros. You can see here this 101 starts here. So all these leading zeros just got, you know, uh, ne never converted. And unfortunately, we need this because when we reverse it, we have to have these zeros. Otherwise, the number will be different. The way you can account for that is to just add 32 here. We know that this is going to be 32 bits no matter what. And add a zero to indicate what's going to be leading. That's going to be leading zeros. And this is going to make sure that it's going to be 32 bits and the zeros will always be there. So you can see our answer is good now. So this is the way I solved it. The answer that they give us is a little bit more bitwisey than I'm used to. And what they said was, why don't you initialize an output, start with zero, and build up this reversed integer by using the bit positions as exponents with two. So uh, this power here is going to be like indicating the index, but it's also going to be indicating kind of like the exponent that we're going to be on, that leftmost exponent. So starting with 0, uh, we know that since 0 indexed, it's going to be up to 31. So while we have an, an, inner, um, an n, what we'll do is build up our output. And you can do that by adding the uh, n operator and do the do that with one and what we'll do is make sure that it's going to be indicated with power like this now after that we have to decrease our our n by one position so to do that we can just uh, I think it was like this uh, I actually think it's all the way like that and decrease our power by one. So this is kind of like building up our our integer, but we're starting at the left side and building it up on the right side and using this n operator because we know the very edge is going to be what's important. So after that, I just return our output. And that looks good. So there. Yeah, so this I don't think I would have come up with in very quickly anyway. I might have been able to figure it out eventually. But the reason why I don't particularly like these bitwise problems is, first, I've never seen them in an interview. And second, I've never used them for my job. So personally, I think you can deprioritize these bitwise problems. If you want to learn them and, and you have them in your back pocket, that's great. Um, but otherwise... If you're just starting out, it's better to focus on other problems. And really, if you um, get this solution, I mean, that's, that's, that's awesome. Uh, but, but I wouldn't worry too much about this. Just know the basics for Bitwise and, and how you represent the cast, integers, and so on and so forth. So thank you. Um, and remember, do not, uh, do not trust me. I know nothing. <laughs>